Yo, what's going on, guys? My name is Ranger Flynn, and welcome everyone to episode 22 of Black Clover here today. In this episode, I will have to say, you know, the first half, it was just a little bit boring, just because it was kind of the same thing repeated and looking at the different characters, kind of where they are in the districts, like if it's Austin, the North District, you know, Central District, like in the Central East, you kind of get what I'm saying right here. And it's kind of interesting, because like I said in last episode, you know, there's a whole group of characters, you know, there's a lot more more of a cast in Black Clover and the kind of the thing that we want especially what I want in this is wanting to learn their power and what they can do and I feel like that's what Black Clover gets to us in this first half of the episode because it's just showing each cast member or what group they're a part in defeating you know these corpses that we actually get the guy's name uh, actually in the Petite Clover like we get his name at the ending of the episode and what his magic actually is which is where we get in the Petite Clover and then the preview for next episode but his name is Raidus. Uh, I think I'm saying that right. Or Austin is always calling him Raw. So Raw or Raidus, whatever you want to call him. And his magic is controlling corpses. So, you know, it's kind of the Magic Knights defeating corpses one after the other. This episode, you know, for the first half. And it's kind of interesting. You know, it's good to learn more of the cast and what their power could do. You know, we learn, you know, glass magic. We learn mercury. We learn sand. We know steel. We know wind. We know water. You know, etc. like that. And it's still pretty cool of what their abilities are and kind of what they got towards. You know, if you're a Golden Dawn member, if you're a Crimson Lion, or if you're a Silver Eagle. It's still pretty cool seeing the cast of characters and what... What magic they could be doing but what really caught my eye in this episode is the other half you know this is Asta battling against Raidus and this big guy you know kind of his servants we don't really know a lot of information about his you know kind of servants here yet you know they kind of go by numbers like number four number two and we haven't seen one and three yet but number four we get is this guy named Jimmy or I don't even know if it's a human being at all it's kind of just a puppet or one of Raidus's magic uh, that he uses you know kind of controlling the corpses or you know it could be a whole different you know person or villain himself we have really no idea yet but you know kind of in this he has this curse power you know kind of magic or ability this person Asta you know he uses this curse magic and if one of his like kind of attacks hits you it doesn't matter if you get a scratch you know the kind of gap or the you know the wound will get even worse like if it's a little single cut it'll keep opening up and you know it'll make you even bleed anymore like it's bad if this curse magic here touches you but I loved Asta's character in this scene, you know, I love it that, you know, he will go the distance to rescue just one person, like, no matter what, if it's anyone in the Clover Kingdom, and this is kind of him, you know, going towards being the magic, being, you know, the Wizard Kane, and even, I guess this will go towards, you know, as well, is no matter what, if anyone is in danger, you are going to rescue them and you are going to put your life on the line and we see that with Asta like you know kind of him battling Jimmy right here you know Reyes is like hey forget Asta for a second just go and attack this little girl she's in the way just go kill her already and I love how Asta like no matter what even that he's weak already you know we have his cheek already bleeding a lot he gets hit in the rib it starts bleeding he goes to protect himself from this girl like no matter what and I just like that like I like how Asta character and I feel like the Magic Knights even some of them even maybe even the Silver Eagles have to take notes about this because you know it's definitely it's definitely a heroic thing and that's just why I love Asta as a character in this anime and just props to him you know it was just a good heartfelt moment that he he will just go and risk his life and you know he says the thing about Raidus as well and he even talks about this is you know why are you even putting your line on for someone like this you know you won't get any credit or anything and Asta was going right back to him he's like I don't even care if I don't get any credit or you know anything like that if this goes on record I don't give a crap if this girl is protected and I can protect her I will do it so that's pretty cool right there well his character in this episode as well we get it at the ending um you know it's kind of her being that scared and kind of her being useless like we kind of you know get this kind of motive from her when we first get introduced with her character because you know it's back from her being with her siblings again with the silver eagles and i like leon's character in this you know kind of development right here i feel like you can call him a second asta at this point you know her giving hope because in this episode when she sees asta you know protecting this girl and trying to you know protecting the girl and you know him battling against radius and jimmy you know she thinks through her head that she's useless and that she can't help asta in this condition whatsoever because you know she's thinking about her brothers and her sister that you know 
she was useless. She's not part, you know, of this, you know, royal family anymore. You're the one that killed her mother, and it really gets to her head. And I like Leon's little speech to her right here. It is kind of a funny moment of what he does, but it's definitely a really cool thing, and I love Leon's character a lot. Like I said, I feel like to him he's a second Austin because he's giving hope. You know, he's telling her, hey, whatever the Silver Eagle said to you, forget all that. You're the one that joined the Magic Knights. You're going your own route. You do your own thing. You are a strong individual and you could put up with them. With that, I just love Leon's character like that and it gives, you know, Noelle hope and going to save Asta and even she even says that in her head before she goes and help Asta and, you know, the civilian is, you know, she's like, looks back because Asta was the one that kind of got her out of that mess and, you know, to be, be who she is right now, you know, she can control some of her water magic and she's become coming stronger as an individual and then she goes and saves Austin you know she uses like kind of you know shield you know water magic that we see her battling against Mars and them back in like six episodes ago or however long that was so it's kind of cool seeing her build up more as a character you know kind of forgetting all that and I feel like that should you know she's getting blamed for a whole bunch of stuff but it's not actually true and I just love it that you know she has this courage and that she could stand up right beside Austin and become a good magic knight if Leo Leon and Noel come in to help Austin out you know Austin he uses this new kind of spinning ability with two of his swords to defeat Jimmy, which is a pretty cool thing. We're learning more character development from Asta and what he can kind of do with his attacks. Even Leo is really interested in him, but you know, he's kind of a hype guy in the series. You know, he looks to Asta as a rival, and it's pretty cool of him saying these you know, kind of words as well, because you know, Asta fights differently from other mages. You know, he is a very different individual, and that really captures, you know, Leo's interest and even mine, and I guess maybe the community as well, because you know, he is different. You know, all he has is these anti magic swords and that's really all he could use this is that and you know kind of the training that he did all the way to you know become you know a mage or even a magic knight you know him growing up so it's still pretty cool him you know learning more moves of what Asta could do and then Raidus you know after Jimmy is defeated he calls number two up right here which his name is Alfred and we don't really get a lot of what Alfred could do you know we just see him with this lightning magic ability him you know trying to go against Asta and then it cuts the episode right there this episode though you know I kind of enjoyed it just like i said the first half of this episode it was kind of going back and forth between you know the different groups and what they are you know what district they're in and seeing the different magical abilities that's still pretty cool but i kind of felt like it was a little bit of a waste of a half you know of black clover because we just kind of get that back and forth back and forth for them defeating you know these zombies or the corpses or whatever you want to call them you know seeing them use their different kind of magic you know you kind of get my point of what i'm saying if you watch the first half of this episode so that kind of went down for me just a little bit but i felt like what really you know saved this episode was the other half you know kind of going you know after the 12 minute mark going you know more into black clover i felt like that's really what got me attention and just loving austin's character learning about radius and what his kind of magic ability is and etc like that i know more in the black clover are going to get why their objective is the clover kingdom and etc but with this episode here today it was still pretty good i had a smile on my face um but with it you know i'm just going to just give it a 7 out of 10 today like a 7 out of 10 it's just a good mark just like i said i think the other half just brought it down for me just because you know it was still pretty cool scene of what you know individual has for magical ability but i just felt like they kind of just put it there you know back and forth back and forth and you know it's just the other half i feel like just saved you know this episode for me here but it was still pretty good guys definitely consider episode to watch for black clover more excited for the future of it you know of kind of, kind of what this route is going you know we'll definitely get more information of why these individuals are attacking the clover kingdom but yeah if you guys enjoyed my you know review here of black clover today make sure you guys to leave a like comment down below what your favorite part was of today's episode and subscribe if you guys haven't already and just thank you guys for you know supporting black clover here so far on the channel and we'll see you next week for another review much love guys and hope you all have a wonderful day